Kasar Tafil Elt, an oasis of calm in the northern Sahara and Algeria's first eco-friendly city. It's on a hill that's part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site and overlooks the region's palm groves. But Tafil Elt hasn't always been a thriving oasis. 20 years ago, the rocky hill only served as a rubbish dump until it was brought by the Amido Foundation to tackle Algeria's housing crisis. Their project provides not only low-income housing, but also sustainable living for 6,000 people. We are using local materials as much as possible, stone, lime, plaster, and it's turned out that these materials are excellent phonic and thermal insulators. We have been able to obtain an ecologically viable town. Its ancient architecture is perfect for the hot Saharan climate, with narrow alleys breaking sandy winds and providing cool air in summer. Zergaune is one of the first inhabitants of Tafil Elk. In 1997 98, we had to imagine living in an arid region on a red mountain. You have to get it into your head, you have to believe in it, and we believed in it. Residents know they have to work collectively to keep the city sustainable. Each family takes part in cleaning the streets in their neighborhood. They also help to plant trees and grow vegetables as part of the city's food sharing program. Chemical fertilizers or pesticides aren't allowed. Wastewater is purified in a biological process and garbage recycled. Some of the organic waste is collected to feed animals at the city's eco park and to help educate younger generations about ecology and the environment. We see the teaching everywhere in the media on the internet, but the result on the ground is still not very concrete. So if we prepare the ground with the children, we are almost certain that the results will be perfect tomorrow. People here hope their example of living in harmony with the environment will provide the perfect ground to make even a desert bloom again. Laila Humaira, TRT World.